thank for the grace, oh God, you are doing to us to be in your presence and to see this day in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, oh Lord, Lord Almighty, we have come to, oh God, for you to be filled, oh God. Father, Lord, as we are in your presence, Father, grant us the spirit of understanding in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, we yeah. grant your presence, oh God, overshadow us. Father, as we are about to hear from you, oh God, Father, let the Holy Spirit of God take control. Father, oh God, I plead with you. As you are about to use me, oh God, Father, use me as a vessel. Help me, Lord. In any way, I'm, I'm, I'm not qualified. Father, qualify me. Call me and cleanse me and make me whole in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, I also pray for my brethren. Father, make us all whole in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Open Amen. our ears to your word in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Holy Spirit of God, take control. Use me. Enter me and remain in me. Speak to me and speak to us all. Thank you, Father. Father, we declare our gathering, Holy Ghost Zone, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Every spirit, spirit of butterfly, spirit of errors and mystic, we rebuke in the name of Jesus. We cover our gathering, we cover ourselves in the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. This message will not be used against us, rather, this message, oh God, we lead our way to your kingdom in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you. We give you praise, honor, and adoration. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, I have prayed. Amen. Amen. Love of God, by the mercy of God, let's quickly open our Bible to the book of uh, Isaiah. Book of Isaiah chapter 46. The book of Isaiah chapter 46. Uh, I read verse 4 and verse 5. Verse 4. He said, And even to your old age, I am he. And even to her, Hair, which is uh, white hair, with will I carry you. I have made, and I will bear. Even I will carry, and will deliver you. Verse five. To whom will ye liken me, and make me equal, and compare me, that we may be like, which is the Lord Himself. Lord, by the mercy of God this morning, we have a word of encouragement, which is God unfailing love. God unfailing love. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can we hear me? Hallelujah. Yes, God unfailing love. Uh, beloved of God, no matter how big that mouth is seems to be, no matter how that problem seems very big in our eyes, no matter how things look very difficult in your eyes, in our eyes, no matter how the problem we are facing, passing through now, I want you, I want us to remember that God is still on the throne. The Lord God Almighty that made heaven and earth God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of all creation, the mighty God, the Alpha and Omega, the God that created me and you, is still on the throne. People of God, I want us all to remember that the God is watching us. The Lord is watching us. He is going before us. And he, he loves us more than we could ever think. He loves his children more than we could ever imagine. He loves us more than we could ever know. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. In the book of Proverbs, chapter 8, verse 17, the word of God said, I love them that love me. And those that seek me early, shall find me. He gave, his, he gave us a clearer understanding in the book of John chapter 14. In the book of John chapter 14, verse 21. I read there. He said, he that hath, he that, he that hath my commandment. He explained it well here. He said, he that hath my commandment and keep them. You see? He it is that loveth me. And he that loveth me shall be loved by 
love of my father and I will love him and will manifest myself in him. Praise the Lord. This is very clear. Present, mm -hmm. God gave us his word, knowing that this word will help us in every season of our lives. No matter how life seems to be very hard, because he knows our beginning and he knows our end. Because he is unknowing God. People of God, in the same, that same book where we read, that same Isaiah 46, verse 5. In verse 4, the Lord said, I will, I will be your God throughout your lifetime until your hair is white with age. I made you. I will carry you. Be assured of me. You see? Be, that's the we should be assured of him. Have the guarantee in the Lord. Have the guarantee in me. Have confidence in me, which is the Lord. Have confidence in the Lord. Do not have any doubt about the Lord, just as some of us do today. I assure you that I, the Lord, will carry you and will save you. I am he who will sustain you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In that verse 5, he said, the Lord asked a question there. He said, who is like unto him? And I asked us, our brethren, is there any Thing that can be compared with the Lord God Almighty. Absolutely. Me, Who is like unto him? Who can you compare with him? Is there anything or any that is equal with God? There is none. Beloved, we can also see that in the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, verse 25. Beloved of God, before the Lord created us, created me and you. He thoughtfully formed us. He thoughtfully formed us just as we always think before we do. That is if we if we really think because many people don't think. He that created us carefully choose every single thing he put together to form us. He knows exactly what we need before we need it. He knows all our wants in e and everything that is happening around us. He knows everything. And he will sustain us in all that he has called us to do. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In Exodus chapter 15, verse 2 says the lord is my shepherd the lord is my strength and my song you see i will continue to praise the lord for all he has done he is my sh sh strength and my song and he is and he is become my salvation he is my god and i will prepare him and habitation my father's God, and I will exalt him. My father's God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. As you can see, brethren, the Lord is always there watching, reviving those that need revival, and following his children. He is always strengthening those that need strength, protect those that need protection. Delivering those that need deliverance, revealing himself to those that seek him, according to his word in the book of Matthew, chapter 7, verse 7 to 8. Please, if you read there, you can, if you, you get one, you can read it. Matthew, chapter 7, verse 7 to 8, where he says, Knock and it shall be opened, we all know that. And there is, there is no, there is nothing too hard for him to do. Just as he told us in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 32, verse 27. Yeah. People of God, in every season, God is our greatest source of strength. 
He is our defender. He is our battle fighter. He is our provider, our healer, our salvation. And faithful he is in everything. He will carry us with all that we do. Praise the Lord. Lord, then I say to myself, brethren, me or you, that the law has made his own. We, that the Lord has given power to become his own. We, that the Lord we give everlasting name on that day that is near, according to his word in the book of Isaiah chapter 56. In the book of Isaiah chapter 56, verse 4 to 5, he says, For thus said the Lord unto the, unto the union that kept my Sabbath, and choose the thing that pleases me, and take hold of my covenant. In verse 5, he said, Even unto them will I give in my house, and within my walls I place all a name better than of sons and of daughters. I will give them an everlasting name that shall not be cut off. Love it. We that the Lord has given this great promise, and He will must He will surely come to pass, because when the Lord say yes, no power, no man can say no. When He say no, no man can say yes. Or I will not be singing that song. Or don't we know that that song is very wide, mean many things. Just as the man of God was was the Spirit of God was making him and telling him. Speaking to him yesterday, think his child. When the Lord says yes, there is nothing we can do about it. When he says no, that is it. Instead of us to see, be afraid, just as some of us do. Murmuring, complaining, having doubt in our mind, doubting God. The God of all creation. As you can see, the earth has not fallen. You are seeing doubting God. Limiting God's presence in our life. Limiting the power of God due to that situation or that mountain confronting us. <laughs> Having unbelief in the word of God. Having unbelief in his prophecy. Having unbelief in his revelation. You know, but why don't we prepare God and habitation? Hmm? Why don't we prepare him and habitation? Prepare him a dwelling place in our life, in our hearts. Let the Lord settle in us. Let God occupy your hearts our heart. Let us pour our heart of every distraction. Like all these things we see, all this week is to distract us. What is happening today, God has revealed it to us here before. That we can see it's all coming to pass. He has said it. He said it in his word. He said it to the servants of God on this mountain. Let's turn ourselves from all this distraction and let Christ live in our hearts, live in us. Make ourselves God's permanent residence, God's principal residence, or God's perpetual residence. Let God have his own residence in us. And let us continue to seek him, seek his kingdom, just as he told us in Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. Seek him. Seek his kingdom. 
Prince Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Uh, love of God, people of God, the Lord is always ready, watching, waiting for us to always seek Him, no matter the storm or situation around us. Nothing is hidden in His face. No matter the challenge we feel in this season that we are now, is his love for us, his love for me and you is greater. Brethren, let's make our hearts his dwelling place and seek his kingdom. And the Lord will welcome us. He will welcome you. He will welcome me with his open arms. And he will strengthen us out of Zion. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Uh, people of God, our Lord Jesus Christ is our hope. And those who hope is in God, is in love, will renew their strength. They will renew their strength. In the book of Isaiah chapter 40, verse 37, the word of God says, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up wings. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and never weary. And they shall walk and never faint. Brethren, those who hope in the Lord, those who put their trust in the Lord, those who believe in him, opened and accepted him, when he knock, followed his judgment, followed his instruction, followed his ordinances. Those who wait upon the Lord, expecting him in righteousness, will gain new strength and his power. They will lift up their wings. They will soar up wings and rise up close to God like eagles rising towards the sun. They will run and never tire, walk and never faint. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Love it. Let's open to the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 16. Of 1 Corinthians chapter 16. Verse 13. I read from verse 13 and verse 14. He said, watch ye, stand fast in the faith. Quit you like men, be strong. Verse 40 says, let all your things be done with charity. Brethren, when we hope and have faith in the Lord, he renew our strength. Then we must be on guard. Stand firm in defeat as children of God, as children of the light. We must be on guard. Stand firm on the faith. Be focused. Be steadfast and immovable. Be unwavering. Just like what the man of God was saying yesterday, the Spirit of God was speaking through him. Today we jump here, tomorrow we are there. Next tomorrow we are here. And what are we searching for? This is the time the children of God is supposed to be focused and hear what the Lord will say. 
Be en be courage, be strong, and do everything in love. Beloved of God, when our Lord Jesus Christ lived here on earth, everything he did, he did in love. And we that are his children must follow suit. We must follow his example and face every challenge with love and peace. That is also produce of uh, if that is also uh, uh, that is also that is also producing or produce faithfulness in our journey of life. Do everything in love and peace. Hmm? So leave us uh, with this verse by the grace of God. Uh, the book of uh, Proverbs. I uh, know Romans. Let's go to the book of Romans, chapter. Romans, chapter 15. The book of Romans, chapter 15, verse 13. The book of Romans, chapter 15, verse 13. Now, the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that ye may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Brethren, as we continue to place our trust in the Lord, having faith in Him, seeking Him in righteousness, in holiness through the righteousness of God, looking unto Him, Lord, we continue to fill our heart with the joy of the Lord. Fill our heart with peace from above. Fill, fill us with hope. And that hope will also overflow to people around us. Overflow to our families. Overflow to all our brethren. And the mercy of God I end here with the Lord God Almighty. Bless his word in my heart in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen. All right. I don't know how you were feeling. Were you already out of you? Were you already looking back? Because the Lord told us they that put their hands on the plow and looking back, they are not fit for the kingdom of God. Were you already discouraged? Were you that one that was limiting the power of God and the presence of God, thinking God, God is like a human being? <sighs> when God says yes, his yes is yes. His no is no. He cannot change it because of me. The only thing he needs in me is to prepare him a, 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 a habitation. Let him dwell in me. Let him take over me, use me, and purge me and cleanse me. Accept me in, in his, uh, as his own. And my name is written in the book of life. Love it. I, don't want, I want you to open your mouth this morning and talk to God. If you were that one that was living like a coward, because God don't like coward people. God like people that is strong in heart, that have strong heart. People that can move, that can proclaim his name. This is what people God like, not people that are shivering, running from here to here. I want you to open your mouth and ask God for mercy. If you were that one that was looking, that was uh, uh, living like a weakly, always afraid, Ask God for deliverance. Ask God for mercy. That the Lord God Almighty should have mercy on you. That I have mercy on us. In any way, we have, we have not been trusting you. In any way, I have forgotten to know that you are God. In any way, I have been living lacking courage. I've been living like a weakling. 
Deliver me today. Pray for yourself. Pray for uh, souls on this mountain. Pray for your family. If you also like, you can also pray for the body of Christ in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Living like people who don't know their God. Living like people who don't know that God exists and have mercy. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Many we have been serving you, God, like coward. Forgive me, forgive my children, forgive my Deliver us, Lord. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. God bless you, God. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we pray. Amen. Ask the Lord to grant you that peace from above. The Lord God Almighty should grant us, grant your children, grant your home, grant your heart that peace from above in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen. Father Lord, we pray for your peace, your divine peace from above, oh God. Grant me that peace. Grant my family that peace. Grant me that peace, my boy. Thank you, Lord. This is that peace that passes all understanding. But I grant me peace. Grant my heart peace. Help me, O God. Thank you, Father. Grant me that peace, O God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Help me, Lord. Thank you, Father. Strengthen me and strengthen my family. Strengthen my brethren. Strengthen all your children in the body of Christ. Thank you, Father. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. When you get home, you can continue the prayer. The Lord God Almighty will do that which only He can do. He will manifest Himself in us and show us in salvation in Jesus Christ as we serve Him in, in true holiness. Wait upon him in righteousness in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Are you out there? Please, you are not born again. And you have joined us in this service. Or you have been there, you have been connecting with us. Wherever you are connecting from, are you connecting? Are you here on Zoom? Connecting from Google Hangout, YouTube, or Facebook, wherever you are connecting from. It's the same. You are here, you are here. You have been hearing the word of God. You have also heard the gate. I beg you to come forward. The choice is yours to remain in that darkness that you are or to come to light. If you want to live in light, want to have the power to be a child of God, though he created you, but if you are not born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. I want you to run for your daylight this morning. To, uh, confess all your sins, forsake them, and run to God. Ask the Lord to deliver you, have mercy upon you, and accept you as his son and daughter. And the Lord will do so happily, and heaven will rejoice over you. And we ourselves will also rejoice with you, and the Lord God Almighty will bless you. Please, furthermore, I need you to uh, take a step forward. Call the servants of God of this mountain because you need baptism. You need counseling. Call the humble servants of this mountain for baptism, for counseling, as the Lord will use them to lead you all to the glory of God in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen. Father Lord, we thank you. We bless your name. We give you praise, honor, and adoration. We thank you for your word. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for your spirit. Be that exalted for your mighty power, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you, Father. I bring the word before you. Every error I have made, every mistake, Father, forgive me, O oh God. Deliver me. Purge me and cleanse me. Have mercy. And let this word not be used against me, against my brethren. Rather, this word, O oh God, will open our way and lead us to your kingdom in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, Lord God Almighty, every soul that have submitted itself to you, I have confessed that wrong deed to you, O oh God, in your mercy. Have mercy upon them. Show them mercy. Deliver them. Forgive them all their wrong deeds. 
and granted grace to carry their cross and follow you. Even we, oh God, in any way, Father Lord, we have fallen unknown to us, but I have mercy. Draw us closer and help us, strengthen us, and carry us all along in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, I have prayed. Amen. Amen. Uh, Robert, I don't know if you are angry this morning or you are blessed. Kindly, if you are blessed, I want you to give a hand of applause for our Lord, for our Savior, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, my Savior. Amen. Amen. Bless you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 H